by doing surgeries live. So this is Cheryl Whitman, CEO of Beautiful Forever, and Beautiful Forever University is our educational platform that is sponsoring this today. And I'm excited to have Dr. Stanley Acaro joining us to talk about live streaming your surgeries and the return on investments and the steps to virtually connect with your patients. Great return on investment because he's getting lots of calls and booking lots of surgeries the days that he is live. But there's a lot of legalities, a lot of things that you need to learn and know. So listen carefully today and take notes. And Dr. Carl is a great teacher. I've been to his courses and his talks and he is amazing. So if you wanna grow your network, you want a better return on investment, you wanna learn firsthand from a pro, Dr. Stanley Acaro from Georgia Plastic Surgery. And here I have his bio up because he's internationally known and that is true because he um, not only is in Georgia, but he's in other parts of the world as well, but he's board certified plastic surgeon and offers customized cosmetic procedures. And I've seen them firsthand and his patients just love him. Um, he's very experienced in cosmetic and reconstructive um, for the face and the body. So he does it all, he's one-stop shopping. He's, pu he's a published author, uh, his most recent book is Brazilian Butt Lift, I have to get a copy of that signed. Um, and the proceeds from the book actually support his mission, which is amazing. And he has received many, many awards in the plastic surgery arena and at the conferences and national and international awards. Um, he's a prestigious ASAPS uh, member, which is the highest level plastic surgeon you can get. He has a beautiful freestanding building in Marietta, Georgia, which I visited. And um, I welcome him today to our live interview. So welcome, Dr. Ocaro. Happy to have you here. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks for those kind words. Oh my God, you make me, you make me look good and sound good too. <laughs> Long time no see, you look amazing. Oh, thank you. You look great too. I'm so aging backwards. I, well, listen, we got to keep working on that clock, right? So anything yes, I can yes. do non-surgical, when I'm ready for <laughs> surgery, I'll have to talk. But right now, anything non-surgical, I'm happy to try. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> You're very welcome. So tell us about when did you start doing your live surgeries and figure out that this was, wow, this is a way to go on the social networks to grow your database and get a great return on investment? Well, um, when we, we, our practice is 10 years old. Um, when I moved back from, when I finished my Navy tours and moved back to Atlanta, Georgia, of course, you know, I, I, we opened that practice in the middle of the recession, 2010. Um, I figured out the internet was a leveling field. That, of course, that time there was no Snapchat and stuff like that. So it, we, we did a lot of online stuff. Real surf was what was on then. We did that a lot. And it was about maybe five, uh, five to seven years ago, we started doing, when I booked my very first patient on Snapchat, that's when I knew this was real. The patient flew all the way down from Dallas, Texas to come and get a Brazilian butt lift. And that was the, you know, like they, they said, the rest is history. So about seven years ago, I would say. That's great. And in the seven years, how have you progressed? Because now I see the numbers and I see the amount of surgeries you're doing. It's just amazing. I mean, it must take a lot more work because you have to prep the patient, you have to prep the OR. So tell us about the process with, with prepping the patient and getting them psyched into being on camera. Or are they coming to you and saying, Dr. Carl, I want my surgery on camera? So, you know, when we first started this, a lot of physicians would not believe it, but a lot of patients want to be on, on live, not everyone. So I would probably say about 90% of our patients sign up so we have a special consent form that we have them sign before we can put them on. And uh, most of them find us online, so they want to be online. So they will, some of them will request to be online because their families want to watch their surgery, just make sure that you don't botch their surgery, right? You know, that kind of stuff. So some will request, and some, um, most people find us online. So when we ask them for the consent, there are certain things that we have to do we have to guarantee that we will maintain their privacy so we don't show their face and we don't use their name and we will treat them with respect. So with, when you meet all those criteria, most people don't have any problem signing their consent. 
So they're coming to you and saying, Dr. Carl, I want to be live and I want my surgery live. Yes, not all, not all of them, but a lot of them do. And then some of them will, will ask you, will ask, are you gonna go live with me? And then the other thing, some of them will ask, what color bow tie are you gonna wear for me? I want you to wear my favorite color bow tie because I wear bow tie in surgery as well. Oh, that's, it's pretty amazing. Um, I think what you're doing is great. I think if this is what the people want. I mean, Dr. Miami's been doing it for years. He's booked out for years. Um, but is it stressful for you as a surgeon to know if the cameras are on you? Because in surgery, obviously, I've seen you. You're so, you concentrate, which is the best thing, and that's what makes you great. So I have a very wonderful person um, that my, my, my manages my online presence. Her name is Grace. She's amazing. So she takes care of, she's been in surgery with me now for a while. So a lot, of, she knows all the answers in terms of the questions. So I don't, what, for me, I'm so used to it that it's, it comes natural. I know people are watching. I just focus on the patient. Do what you do. And uh, this came to me when I was first on, well, going live on TV in Atlanta. And they'll tell you, focus on the person in front of you. Don't worry about the camera. So once I got used to that, I ignore the camera and do what I got to do. But when you started, you must have been nervous. I mean, it's not. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are nervous like heck, but just ignore the camera or act as if the camera is just another person you're talking to. Because that's what it is. You know, and and we'll watch one of your videos in a minute, but I noticed that you have uh, one or two people holding up cameras. So you're actually having the person there. It's not just a camera focused on you. um, And they're there so what is it facebook live and instagram are, the other, are those the two you focus on yeah the, the basic ones are uh, instagram live and facebook live um we also do on snapchat and then in the future we, we i'm looking for something that can do four cameras like uh um youtube live that's coming next yeah that's 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 our next so we we do a snapchat instagram and facebook that's those are basic but youtube is coming that's great. And do you market it beforehand so other patients know what you're doing next week and they know oh, your schedule? Yeah, we don't always do that, but sometimes if it's something special, we'll do, we will like do, we call it the bureau, kind of tell them, hey, we're going to do this, this, but most people kind of know that we are like um, story, scroll. I'm, I'm, I'm getting some feedback from my people that do this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, we, we do some pre, um, surgery marketing about what we're going to do. Yeah. Which is good. So if people want to watch, at least they can. Yeah. Watch. Um, yeah. now what happens when you're on Facebook or Instagram or your future YouTube, there has to be rules and regulations and legalities because we can't just have naked people and doctors doing whatever on, on these channels. That is true. It, it, uh, Facebook, which also owns Instagram, have strict rules on um, some things. You can't expose like the nipples or the genitals. So we have to keep those things covered at all times. So that, especially if you're doing surgeries in those areas, it makes it a little challenging. And a lot of times we, we have to have something, maybe blur it out or put something to cover it or, or use a physical cloth to cover it those areas that makes it a little challenging sometimes yes i can see that have you ever turned down a patient who said i want to be live and you say you're not a right candidate what makes them a right candidate so we have two surgeons myself and dr daniel park and we have two opportunity room, opportunity room and we have one one social media person so i always tell them just because you signed a consent does not guarantee that you're going to go live because okay. um, the social media person, I put it on her, so the social media person determines wh- who needs to go live and what we need to, to promote today. So it may not be you. It's not up to me. It's not up to me. And a lot of times it's not, really not up to, up to me because Dr. Park may need to do something live and I am so they know it's not a guarantee, but Every once in a while, you know, if it's somebody that, re- that really, really, really want to go live and, the, and that's what, it, what they do, we do our very best to kind of get grace there to, to do as much as we can. 
So Grace is the only one holding a camera or you have two people holding the camera? Grace is the only, so Grace has a, a stand that holds the two camera. She oh. also has the option to move around. So we have, we, at any given time, we have three cameras on. So Grace is mobile, she's not stuck. And what about the lighting? Do you have to have special lighting or microphones? No, nothing special. We, we, we use, I have no, no, um, no interest in iPhone, but we love iPhones and because they, my iPhone 11. I see it. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the cameras are awesome and the, our operating room is um, well lit. So you don't need any special cameras. In, 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 but plus we don't want to show everything anyway, so. Now, are you talking during most of this or you're really quiet and focusing, like you said, on the patient and not really talking to the audience that might be listening? I do both. It depends on what I'm doing. Like I said, Grace is, Grace is very knowledgeable. So, you know, people are typing their questions as she's reading the questions out. Every once in a while, they ask a question um, and they want, they want to hear my voice. I talk. I wear, I wear a, microscope, um, a microphone. Okay. Um, and a, a lot of times I, I'm, I'm answering the questions back and forth. Okay. Well, I guess it's good. And the patients you always have completely out. We, we offer both um, local anesthesia and general anesthesia. We do both. Um, we've done live on local anesthesia. Sometimes we want people to know what it feels like uh, to do. So now that's a picture of, uh, that's Grace right there. Um, she's, sometimes we, we want to do a close-up. So she will come in doing a close-up or doing a comparison of one side to the other side. And how do you communicate with her? Because most of your work, I mean, you're getting a major workout. You don't even have to go to the gym. That's right. <laughs> um, so most of your work is like with the, your hands and your whole body. I've noticed, I've watched a few. And, um, and so how do you communicate with her? Um, because you have to have a code between you if there's something that you need to talk about or mention. Yeah, we, we do. You're right. We do have some codes that we, I would say that she would know what that means. So um, we, we, we use those code, code words to communicate like um, things like, um, let's say there's a, an issue that I don't, you know, that I don't really want anybody to know, which right. we re rarely happens, but because most of the surgeries is elective surgery, healthy patients, 99% of the time there's no issue, but if let's say anesthesia wants to do something or whatever, we do have some codes that we, we, we do use, yes. So right. plus, you know, when you hang out with somebody for a long time, you understand the body language and stuff like that, what to say right. and things like that, yeah. And how many do you do a, how many do you do a week live videos? Um, about four, 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 um, live videos a week and on an average. So you only do one per day on those four different days or? Sometimes two, if we have something interesting, like we do male BBL, male breast and butt lift, or let's say we do a breast and butt lift reduction or revision. Those are very popular stuff. Yes. Um, so we, if we have those, then we would do them or we do something like maybe a pec implant or bicep implant, something that's not very common. So we will do that, but we try to do one live one um, a, a, a day. Uh, we did one buttock reduction a week, two weeks ago. We have over 10,000 people signing at the same time. It was that's crazy. amazing. That's yeah. amazing, yeah. That really is. I mean, the numbers that people want to watch, you would have never thought this 10 and 20 years ago that you'll get an average of, what is it, 200 viewers um, when they don't even know you're going on and then, you know, the, the posts and the views and then it typically, I guess, people asking you questions um, while you're live and who's reading you or how are you knowing about those questions to be able to answer them? So the, we, we, when we're live, we're live. So people ask questions and Grace does had a good job scrolling to answer as much as the, uh, as much as she can, the ones that she doesn't know the answer to, she will ask, ask me, and I have a mic on, so I, I can give the answer right there and there. Um, so it, it is, it's a very dynamic thing, and it's like getting a free consult in a way. So we don't do free consults, so we do live consults. So your live consults are, I mean, out of the OR. They're, you know, uh, 
their normal consultations. You're charging for the consult. So people, because when I was visiting with you years ago, people were coming from all the states. They were coming from all over. But now with COVID, I guess there's a lot more um, online and virtual that you're doing, I would assume. Yes. So um, even prior to COVID, uh, like you said earlier, we, I have a practice in Nigeria. So we were used to virtual consults. It was very, very natural for us. But post COVID, you know, during COVID, yeah, I mean, like before I came on live, I, I, would, I just finished a consult for somebody from, um, somebody from um, Rhode Island, New York, Florida, and of course Atlanta. So we are doing a lot more virtual consults now. We, uh, we've gone from, I, I, I'll talk to you about that if we're going, I, I have some interesting thing I wanna share, I wanna share with the virtual okay. consults, yes. Okay, that's great. I'm always excited to hear something new and interesting um, yes. that you're involved with. But typically, I guess the patients want an overall body. It's like you're not doing a small, most of these surgeries, most of these surgeries look like they're pretty large surgeries. How many hours are you live normally for these surgeries? So um, sometimes the lives can be, uh, you know, how many, maybe four, four, four hours, five hours. Yeah. It's, yeah. If we have, a, it's about engagement, as you know, if, we, if the audience are engaged, we keep on going until we have to, um, sometimes we have to stop because we do the front, we have to flip the patient. So okay. we have to end it and tell people to rejoin after, like, um, if you go to a show, the, what, what is it called when you have a, intermission. In, an intermission? Yes, yes. And they will come back. So, yes. They can take an intermission break, go get a drink, and then come back. Okay. Yeah, we, like, you know, after we finish the front, we have to flip over to the back. Then we, we, we ask them because we don't want to show, because that, we, like, there's a lot more exposure with that. So, we, we, we will come back after, after that. I mean, the phones ring off the hook when we're doing live. Really? And so while you're yes. on, you actually have your phone number scrolling so they call you? Yes. So we put the phone numbers up. Now, I think we, what we're doing right now, we put on the website, okay? Go to the website to get more information. But of course, the website has a phone number on it. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> so, so sometimes you don't want the phone to ring right there and then. You don't want everybody to call because not everybody is ready. You want the people that are ready to call, not everyone. Correct. You want to be able to, right. So, I mean, it is hard to pick out the tire kickers and the people that just want to ask questions um, who might not ever come in. So that's I guess true. that's what your staff has to do when they uh, pre-qualify them on the phone. And, you know, then the other thing comes into patient financing options, as you and I have talked about for years, you have to make things affordable. Not everybody has, you know, the money right now to do everything. Um, so that's where care credit and other financing options come in to make it more affordable so they can get multiple things done in these surgical procedures. Right, right. So we, you're right. We have to, we offer care credit and Afion credit and United Health, all of those things, but not everybody can afford to pay, like, a, you know, $10,000 of, you know, cash. So right. um, when they, all those t financial talk, we refer them to the office, to call the office. So the office, sometimes when we go live, they can't do anything, anything else because the phone is just off the hook. Well, that's, I mean, it's great that it's so busy. I mean, it's a good problem to have. But the, yes. highest, the highest views with your butt reduction with 292,000 views, I mean, that's like amazing. Those that's numbers great. are great. And well, the 619 likes is wonderful, but the shares, 3,000 shares and 395,000 impressions, that's, that's a very impressive. You must be impressed with yourself. Well, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just honored that, uh, but, you know, people love to watch. It's like a reality show. We have our own show on, t on, on Facebook. Who needs TV? Yeah. Who needs TV when you, have, when you have Facebook and Instagram, right? Well, you could have your own TV channel. I think that would be good. Yeah, um, there's a lot of drama to go with that, too. <laughs> well, there's a lot of drama <laughs> every day anyway. Yes, um, yes. So, so it's interesting that, um, that this is so appealing to so many people. And so now we're going to just show your video quickly. It's a one-minute video of you actually doing live and Grace holding the cameras right there. Yeah. So we're going to push that right now, and it's a one-minute video. Thank you. Okay. I think this is the video I'm doing live. Uh, this is a male male. Um, we're, we're getting ready for a male tummy tuck here, male liposuction and tummy tuck. 
So that's uh, Grace there. And maybe somebody's asking a question I was showing them, but I'm always focused on the patient, not on the camera. So if I almost ignore the camera and just do what I gotta do. Right. Yeah. Um, so I, this, this patient was, um, we're doing a gynecomastia reduction as well. So it's a combined case, gynecomastia, liposuction of the tummy and the and tummy tuck. Life abdominal plastic. How long is that procedure? That has to be a very long procedure. It is a long procedure. Um, so that's Grace was coming in there to kind of zoom in to kind of because I th think I finished one side of the chest. She wanted to see the difference between the left and the right side. Somebody, somebody had asked to see if they can see it. So, and then she was zoom in there and then zoom back out. And it's so interesting that the patients want to see themselves or the families want to watch. Yeah, she was, um, he, he was asking uh, if he could see that video. Some people want to see what happened. And the downside to it is sometimes uh, I saw a patient in consultation this afternoon. He was like, when, when you're pushing that thing in, do you know where you're going? So it could be scary for them to they understand. Um, so it's, it could go either way, but most of the times uh, we also explain to them that I'm an expert, an expert, don't do this at home. This is uh, after years of training, you know? And are you training other doctors to do this? Because it would be something that I think would be great because there's so many people who are afraid to do a one minute video and here you're on live for hours and hours. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm always talking in our know, society about like social media. I talk about social media in uh, the societies and how to, how, how to promote and um, promote your practice or your spa using social media. So I talk about it and uh, I get a lot of phone calls from a lot of uh, plastic surgeons on how to do it, what equipment to buy, the, um, the consent forms. So I share all those things all the time. Um, or what to do and things like that. So yeah, I, I do share my information with other, other doctors as well. And then um, somebody asked a question because I guess they looked you up and they asked if in your med spa, you do anything live, it would be procedures, it wouldn't be operations. Yeah, absolutely. So with the same thing that we do in our surgery center, um, our surgery center is by the way, fully certified and accredited. We do this thing in our med spa, they have to have consent. Um, HIPAA, uh, PHI has to be protected all the time, unless if the patient decides to eat facial stuff or whatever, but the patient have to agree to that. You cannot reveal patient's identity or privacy without any consent, without consent. So we do, we do the same thing in, in the spa and in the surgery center. So in the spa, give us some ideas of what type of um, procedures that you're doing live. So we've done cool sculpting live. We've done um, tummy smooth live. We've done smooth shaped live. Um, we've done M tone live. We've done M sculpt live. Wow. M sculpt. Um, what else? We have um, uh, Morpheus. We have done uh, micro needling with RF live. Um, what else? Um, well, that, seems like a, that seems like part of your hydrofacial like hydrofacial <laughs> what did you say no i said it seems like it's a big part of your menu um, yeah there's a lot of stuff there's this our spa you know i've been accused of liking my having a lot of toys in the spa so <laughs> i remember when you used to sit there and take pictures of yourself and the machines were hooked up to you yes yes i'm i am mean, i i've done a lot of cool in them. <laughs> <laughs> But you have to be yeah. careful what you eat, right? Um, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so that works all the time. So, so what are your plans now? What do you see for the future going towards, you know, next year and hopefully getting out of this, you know, environment that we're in now? How do you see it changing what you're doing and changing the whole practice? I think the virtual, we call ourselves, we are like a virtual practice now. I think it's here to stay. This is, patients love this. It's more convenient for them. They don't have to travel like for a virtual consult. It's amazing. The average virtual consult takes is about 10 to 15 minutes for me. When the patient is right here in the office, 
by the time you go to the pleasantries and stuff like that, 15 minutes is gone. They, 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 you're in there with them for 30 minutes. They drive an hour to get here. It's just a three, four hours of deal for the patients is easy. Plus, we can get more people, get them, like, go where your patients are. So we started doing something new now because normally the doctor would do the consult with the patient. The patient will go and meet with the patient care coordinator to do the quotes. Cheryl, you may not like this, but it was, I just did an experiment. We've been thinking about it. We just okay. did it today. Okay. And I did it just for you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> True story. So I did two consults before I came on live. And I told my PA, we're going to do something different. Because I've been thinking about it. We're going to do the consult. We're going to present the patient with the quote. Okay. I, I we do screen share because the patient wants to know how much it's going to cost. Of course. Yeah. So they saw the quote. I said, can you afford it? Yes. No problem. You're going to get an email from my patient care coordinator. Cheryl, I wish I could share this with you. Before I came online, the patient had already paid their deposit. Wow. Before it was, it's five o'clock. Then normally my patient care coordinator will have to send them the stuff, review that code for them. We won't get a deposit to tomorrow. Now, now that took me 12 minutes or less to do the consult, show the code, get a deposit for surgery. She doesn't even have a date yet. The wow. coordinator will reach out to them tomorrow. So we've done it twice with 100% closure. That is so great. I give you a thumbs up on that. That is wonderful. So now yes. that's going to be the new norm for you, I could tell. <laughs> it is. I love it. So my patient care coordinator love it. They don't have to chase it, the patient around. So there's something else that we're doing. Um, I'm trying to, um, I'm working with my, uh, my internet company, um, Crystal Clear, by the way, just a little, just a little plug for them. Um, I, we have been used to chasing leads. Okay. This industry has been chasing leads. Since this COVID, a lot of my staff didn't come back to work because, of COVID, because we were closed. Right. Aggie and a few members of the team were here. We, 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 people still want to look good even when we were home. We couldn't keep up with the leads. That's the problem that we had. We, the same problem we had when you came here. We, we there's so many leads stuff. So, what we're doing right now, we created on our website a virtual consultation where the patient would just don't request for consult, request the procedure. So they pay for the consult online. We just need to give them dates. So we are taking down the lead. I don't want to collect leads anymore. Right, okay. Look your virtual consult. Don't send me your name and your... So my, I don't have enough people to chase it. So we are trying to eliminate chasing leads this okay. so that's the new thing uh cheryl and i think and i think that's smart it also takes you less time less staff i mean you used to have two or three patient coordinators closing the deals trying to ask for money the phones were ringing i mean at one time you had like 20 or more people in staff just i still do but now they're more efficient instead of calling people we, we received your email or your inquiry and then that's if you get them on the phone because somebody might send a lead at 12 midnight and they're at work during the day and they're not going to answer the phone. Now, we, they can't send the leads anymore. They have to pay for the console. So I don't want, to, so when we call them now, they're more engaged, they're more um, invested. Right, that makes sense. Right. So now they're looking for dates for the consoles instead of trying to get them on the phone. So that has really changed how we do virtual console. So we call it, the virtual consoles plus. Okay. So that we are still working on it, but as the, we've been doing it since um, March now, and it's working well. And so you don't have people sitting in the waiting room like you used to. No, no, most of so is you have to have a nice flow. We see have some people still want to see you in the office. So what we do right now, we do it in the first part of the morning is all virtual. And my staff, they don't have to come here too early in the morning, early anyway. So we do virtual, my P&I, and then maybe around 10, we start seeing uh, uh, patients in the office. And then we're done with uh, physical office on, um, by th three o'clock. Between three and five, we'll do a virtual. I can see more patients virtual than I can see in the office. Of course, and it takes a whole lot less time. 
Somebody is asking um, in the question box, um, they wanna know how much you charge for your virtual consults versus the consults when somebody would come before March into the office for, and are you then putting that money towards their procedure if they book within a certain amount of time? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, but I think it was breaking. I think you were asking how much I charge for virtual consult versus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I charge the same. My uh, my consultation fee is one hundred and fifty dollars. Okay. And I don't blink when I ask for it. Well, listen, you're a celebrity plastic surgeon. You're charging a lot more money now. Maybe after this, you'll charge some more. <laughs> well, I don't know. Well, we um, we I I I I never I did a free consult when I started the practice, but I feel like people were just robbing me of my knowledge and not appreciate, and they were using me as a second opinion. So I stopped that. So now I, uh, I feel like, I, you know, I give them the information so they can make an, an educated decision. So we charge it $150 and I have less no show and I have no show. There's no, we, our no show rate is so is close to zero because it's a, as a consultation, they call us to, if there's a family emergency, we move it another date or something like that. But I would not have any problem with no show because they pay, for, even we charge $50 for my PA, physician assistant. While I'm in surgery, my PA is doing consults, charge $50. Wow. My uh, Dr. Park charges $100. I charge at $150. So $150, $150. So what happens, does that 150 go towards their procedure, like those two people that you spoke to today who wanted a book? Absolutely, so the 150 is deducted from the total amount of uh, their uh, quotation. Do they have to sign up within 30 days or that week or it just open-ended? In terms of, so, so it depends or on the, uh, it depends on the available surgery date. So as long as they book the surgery, the deposit, of course, is non-refundable after three days. So we give them a three-day grace okay. period. So it's three days. It's free. You know, we don't want to put any pressure on anybody because we're so busy. I don't want, I, I want to make sure that my surgical date schedule is not, is maintained. So we give them three days after they book the surgery. If you change your mind, we'll give your money back. But after three days, the deposit becomes non-refundable. Okay, and that makes sense because there is what we call in marketing a call to action. So it's not just like, oh, in 90 days, I'll call him back. At least you know, you remember the patient, you have the charts, everything is really easy. And I think what you're doing is amazing. And with yeah. Beautiful Forever University, which I'm trying to work on the formal launch or in pre-launch now, we're going to have educators like you uh, talking and helping us out. And I think that you'd be a perfect fit to help us with um, some of these consult tips and hints and other questions that people have. Um, but I don't want to take up more of your time today because I know that you're busy and there's probably somebody waiting downstairs for you. Um, but I really appreciate seeing you and, and hearing from you and, um, and you and I need to catch up soon. Cheryl, it's, um, it's always a pleasure um, speaking with you. You're just an amazing woman. You're very smart. Great consult consultant. If you're looking for a, somebody to help you with your practice, for any aesthetic practice, Cheryl is amazing. She has been to my practice and uh, did um, giving me feedback, which we're still using to, today. As a matter of fact, time time honored, time honored. So th th thanks for the value that you brought to our practice. It's very very. Important. And then you have uh, you've been a fan of our practice for. I mean, you, you're you're a friend to Georgia uh, Plastic. We love that. Thank you very much. But I thank you um, for being so kind and giving up your time today. Um, and I can't wait to hear what's going to be next because I know with you, there's always something in that, you know, the back pocket. Um, but I love your purple bow tie. We're coordinated with purple today. So it's an amethyst day. Um, and um, I wish you and your family well. And um, I look forward to keeping up with you. And thank, thank you, Shara. Sure. I'll thank talk you. to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So here at Beautiful Forever University, um, it's a membership education program. So if you want to learn more, you want some updated information, some hot topics, um, we also offer free 30 minute uh, consultations to help you. I've been doing this 30 years or more um, and um, I'd love to hear your story, um, your goals, help you to reach your goals. 
And, um, and maybe even now in this new virtual digital world, you need some more help or you need help doing some videos. So we can help you with that. Um, I thought Dr. Okaro was great in um, giving us all his information about um, his virtual surgeries, which is pretty amazing. Um, so we have limited time offers to our attendees as we always do for pre-launch um, for the beautiful Purple University at $199. So you get discounts on consultations, which that alone is worth it. Um, we help you to grow your medical spa or your practice. You get a copy of the beautifully profitable book, which is on Amazon and lots of added value, um, ongoing education, access to private one-on-one -on -one phone calls and emails, practice assessments, mystery calls, and um, discounts of being part of the university. And we have a lineup of many experts that will be coming um, to educate you as well as myself with um, very short and very to the point informational, educational ways for you to make more money and quicker return on investment. And so now I'm really excited. I want you to save the date so you can join us. These are our next three interviews that are coming up. Next week, I'm very impressed that Eliza Cabana is actually going to be live with us because it's not something that she does on a regular basis. She is the writer and editor for Aesthetic Authority um, and also, I believe, Dermatology Times. And so she's going to be talking about the trends and what she sees happening in the industry for 2021. So we're all looking to get the ball dropped in 2021, get out of 2020, and move forward. And then we have um, guest Eric De Silva talking about the five points of wellness that you can add to your menu, some new, very interesting wellness, anti-aging strategies. And he's very successful with that. And Dr. Susan Merman, who's going to be talking about multiple things, but the key thing is successful evolution of a brand, um, how she broke uh, apart a, um, a big entity and then went off uh, with a couple of other OBGYNs has a laser center, rebranded everything, restarted everything, and was refocused. Um, and it was a pleasure, as always, to see what Dr. Merman and her clinic is doing. So I look forward to you. Stay live, Facebook, like us, follow us, Instagram, and, um, and we'd love to hear all of your questions at any time. And I thank you.